Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey Goku, we just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. <laughs> That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called Instant Transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, Instant Transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we'd better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and go on? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time.
Chi-Chi, I'm home. Hi, Mom. G Goku, H is that really you? <laughs> of course it's me. You look like you've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried. Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. What? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah. to interrupt my train. Hey, Kami! Mr. Popo! Long time no see! I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. End. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Oh, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. 
Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. Better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. Did you? Shut it! You and Krillin are probably going to use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm, I guess you have a point. Man, this guy is so easy. Uh, that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. I need. It's in the sacred land of Korin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep. See you later. with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. This is divine water, isn't it? Well, it's called that, but it's just normal water. I was supposed to take this from Corrin as part of my training. Man, that was tough. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him, he cut that monster clean in two. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. with his sensu beams, so I should help him out once in a while. Yeah! I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah. All right, this looks like it's it. good with a sword. I remember when I first met him, he cut that monster. Hmm? Something's there. Want a tango? I'll take you on. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained.
Huh. I see why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. you wanted awesome I knew you'd pull through Goku just wait right there hey corn look I got the stuff for you you nincompoop you can't pull one over on me Goku's the one who got it you're slower than a freaking sloth hey weren't, weren't you sleeping I was meditating you idiot all right I've had it up to here with you let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Aw, oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. 